Hey guys, before I start my video, I want to share something with you. This is real life right here. This is my counter like like all day, almost every day. So I'm just going to like real quick share this. Um, I have met some of the most amazing people here on YouTube. I have two of my closest friends that I consider family. I met on YouTube when Gabriel, who's nine now, was probably like two years old. And we are still friends to this day. We're still close. We, I consider them my sisters. So, I mean, I just, I can't even, like, begin to thank, like, the subscribers and the people who support me. Especially the people that I've got, gro grown, I was going to say gotten and grown together, and that's not a word, <laughs> that I've grown close to. And one of those people in particular sent me this present right here. This is from my friend Misty. Um, she's Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter here on YouTube. So you guys make sure you go over there and check her out if you haven't. Um, this couldn't have come at a better time. It was last week or the week before. Um, she got my reaction. I messaged her so she already knows the deal. But I wanted to share this with you guys. She heard me mention quite, probably quite a few times, I'm not going to lie, that I've always wanted one of these paper mache pumpkins. I even asked for one for like my birthday. I like put the bug in my mom's ear a while ago. I'm sure she forgot, but, um, or was looking at it like, why on earth do you want that thing? Because, <laughs> you know, it's an, it's an eye of the beholder type thing. But um, anyway, so Misty had... She went and she, someone, an Instagrammer was having a sale on a bunch of them that they have. And she actually went and bought one for me. And she had it sent to me. And I just can't believe it. Like, I've never even seen one of these with my own eyes. Like, I've not seen one in an antique store. I've only seen them, like, on YouTube, on Pinterest, on Instagram. And now I freaking have one in my collection, you guys. I can't believe it. They come in different sizes, you know. But this is this is a little guy, and he's just so darling. I love him. He is so cool. Oh, I said we were going to name him. I haven't thought of a name yet. Um, then she sent me this beautiful card, and my daughter was like, Oh, my gosh, Mom, she looks just like you. So I don't know if that was on purpose, Misty, but girl, you know what's up. And then she sent me this cute little, like, um, ceramic owl, like, picture holder. And it had this in it as well. I think there's another one. I might have it on display somewhere. Oh, yeah, there is. I'll get it. So she sent me this postcard. She sent me this one, and I just I had it on display over here. <laughs> and I had the other one on display on my, on my other Halloween shelf. So, like I said, thank you so, so much. To all of my longtime subscribers, all of my new subscribers, you guys are amazing. I love all of you. <sighs> I just can't believe she sent me that, you guys. Like, you have no idea. To me, this is like, for you vintage people out there, this is like getting the aluminum Christmas tree gifted to you. Or, let me think, to my crafters out there. That's like getting the top of the line Cricut or the scan and cut or something just gifted to you. Like, here you go. Or some shopping trip on Simon Says Stamp or something like that. So that's the equivalent. So anyway, thank you so, so much, Misty. I love you. I love you all. And you guys enjoy the video. Bye. You guys, the stuff that I picked. When I went to a subscriber's yard sale, I got to um, meet up with her at her house and pick all her picks. So let's see what I got. One of the first things I saw were these gloves. It's safe to assume they were handmade. They're so nice, they're so tiny. Bianca thought they were maybe for a child. And I'm like, possibly, however, they were a lot smaller back then because there was no such thing as McDonald's. <laughs> so, anyways, I just thought they were beautiful. And I picked these up. And these were $1. I grabbed a couple of these old school. If any of you know what they are, leave it in the comments. But, um, well, if I asked you that, should I tell you what it is? 
Hmm. Anyways, they're old school uh, hair curlers. So you would like put it in the fire, it would heat up, and then you would wrap this, the hair around, you know, stick your hair in there and then wrap it around. So this one isn't marked, but the other one has a marking and they have this, these nice, like probably mm, mahogany or something um, handle. And then I got another pair that are a little bit bigger and these are the ones that actually have a marking on them. That's why I did this forward facing this time because I knew I could get closer with the camera. So this one says New York warranted. I think it says, so, it did say something else above it. Sorry, I was trying to see, but I can't see it. So that was really cool. And those were both a dollar as well. Um, I got this. It's like a little table brush that you would brush crumbs off. Is what we were, both of us, um, thought that it it was and she said she did a little bit of research and that's what it was that was my first inkling as well um we could be wrong but pretty sure that's what it was but you would just brush crumbs off the table pretty fancy it's not signed or anything and it appears to be like brass or something with some wood so that's really cool that's probably it's really soft horse hair or something and then there was this little knife that i really couldn't I can't find my um my jeweler's loop it's somewhere but let me see if I can zoom in and tell what that says I thought it's almost said June's or oh wait Jude's or June's something boss June W something Boston Massachusetts or just Boston Mass and then the number 12 so could be oops zoom out letter opener um with the i don't know i i did not look this up so i don't know if that's the company maker or if that's the person who owned it could be a letter opener could have been you know a potential murder weapon i don't know <laughs> so but i thought that was really cool and it looks like it's i didn't see any other markings that it's that and the way it's like oxidizing right there that it's probably silver plate then this is these two are probably my most favorite here that i got i found this little um well not found um she actually sent me a bunch of pictures of what she was selling <laughs> and i like circled a bunch of stuff that i was interested in and she held them for me until i got there and i'm kind of glad she did because she sold out of a bunch of stuff before i got there so anyways these were um this is a nail white little tin uh, I don't know, uh, what do you call it? Tin, a tin tin. And it says, for whitening and cleansing under nail tips, apply with manicure stick. So, not sure why you would want to do that other than, and I, you know what, I didn't look this up to see exactly how old it was because, you know, some people just didn't wash their hands. It just wasn't a thing. So, I don't know if they were trying to dye the dirt. Not too sure about that. If any of you know, Leave it down in the comments for all of us. I got this fabulous hand mirror. I love this detail right here. Love that. I love, love, love that. It'd be so cool for these, like, to get different ones with different pretty things. And you could probably do, like, command hooks or something because there's no way to hang anything there without gluing something. And hang them on the wall in, like, all different, you know, like, stagger them and stuff. That'd be really cool. I got this cool um, single entry ledger. I just like the black. I loved the gold on the side. And it is what it says. It's a it's just a ledger and it has little columns right there. So got that book. I, uh, I saw these in her pictures and there was one other guy, but she actually dropped it and broke it before I got there. Um, there, these are little salt and pepper shakers made in Japan. They're just really cute little figures. You know, people, um, a lot of times don't use them really for salt and pepper. They'll just use them like figurines. And then there's this little set that look ceramic. And these were salt and pepper. They have a little where, like where the paint has chipped off. It's not necessarily chipped into the plaster or the... 
I don't know. These are so light or the ceramic. I don't know if they're what the heck they're made of. They're real light. Um, but yeah, it's chipped in the paint and they're little shakers. Here's another one. These little Native American guys. And you know what's funny is I, I'm like looking at these going, oh, there's, there's the hole. Little maker, you know, little cork. And I'm looking at this one and it has a cork, but it has no holes that I saw. And I was like, dude, whoever made this had one stinking job. Like, make those holes appear. <laughs> one job, you are fired. Okay. <laughs> Next book, I got this here. I thought it was really cool. You open it up, and it's actually like a passport wallet. Look at that rail ticket. A train, you guys. A train as transportation. That's amazing. Luggage check, landing card, passport. Really cool. That's the maker. Rump. <laughs> that there. And then I got this one. Um, this one's really neat. Uh, the pen probably doesn't work. I don't know. I didn't check it. Or it's a pencil, I think. A pen? I don't know. Oh, it's got some goop on it. Nah, it doesn't work. I didn't expect it to. It just looks cool in there. But we got a little spot for the cards, for your postage stamps, some money. It even has some notes still written in here. And these little perforated papers where you can tear that off and all that was a dollar you guys or these were 50 cents a piece so a dollar for the set everything's a dollar here and then I love this this gold box you open it up and it would have sat uh, bleh, bleh. try that again it would have sat perfume bottles right in here so that is so pretty this would be so cute set out for Christmas or whenever you know on a vanity or something and the last thing that I got there, I'm pretty sure that's it, was this phone. I don't have a landline. I want to try to get one because my kids keep getting themselves grounded and getting their cell phones taken away that they just work so hard to get. Um, but so I'm thinking about a landline. But in the meantime, I think this would be cool set in the Christmas display and use it like Santa's phone or something. I think that would be really neat. I really like that that phone so that is everything I got from her yard sale and then when I went over to the Goodwill that she told me about I found these dog finials they were brand new these just little probably resin it just says finial showcase on them and a model number I guess so I got both of those for $1.98 and then I did pick up this wooden owl with these like orange glass eyeballs. He's real light. $1.98. I don't know if he's signed or anything. Mm, nope. Really cool. And then I got this. I had to get this. I'm such a sucker for planters. This has $3.98 sticker over something else. seven dollars as is maybe it was in someone's antique booth and then it, you could see it has like 35 cents written on it made in occupied japan so i know it has like it has looks like it has dog hair but it has that like crack right there but it's superficial it doesn't go through to well maybe it does Go to the other side but not all the way up the bird interesting but i thought that was really pretty i love the colors and stuff got that that was that was it from that goodwill then i went over to this other thrift store what did she call it i didn't put a little thing up before i walked in there um so when you saw the video yesterday it was actually two different stores gosh i can't remember the name of it i've never been to it before we don't have them here but anyways, I went in and I was looking around and I thought their prices were great to begin with. They were fantastic. And then I learned that everything was 50% off except Christmas and except clothes. And they did accept clothes because clothes are normally a dollar there, I guess. So um, 
these are the things that I got. I picked up this little tidbit tray that, that's distracting, this tidbit tray that is from, oh, what am I thinking? It's depression glass. <laughs> so Bianca wants to do a, like a pastel pink Christmas tree in her room. I usually get them those little baby trees, you know, and they put those in their room and they put their little presents they have for their friends and things under there and whatever. But they just, you know, they just decorate their own tree. And this year she wanted to do pink. And I thought this would be so cute. I don't know if she's going to want it, but um, I don't know. It was $2. So I thought it would be cute in her room with some little things on there. So got that. Then I picked these up and I told the guy, I said, these weren't in the Christmas section, even though they look like a poinsettia flower. Um, so I got those for a dollar for the set. And I, I like that minty blue color to them. <sighs> they don't have a maker or anything. I did get this owl. See the price, 50 cents. I was going to get it, you know, before I knew it was 50% off. It's probably just a little utensil thing for the kitchen. I got him and then her, even though she had broken fingers, I saved her. She's a working music box. She ended up being 75 cents. So, yep, I saved her. And then I did get this Otsugiri, um music box. I love the row houses they do. I've sold a couple of them. The little figures, like a, I had a bank and stuff and it sold. But this ended up being $2. What does that say? I left my heart in San Francisco. I guess that's the name of the song it'll play. So I got that. This didn't have a price on it. So it was 15 cents. It's a Libby glass with the horses and the stars. I've never seen this pattern. So I grabbed that. Then I got this jar. It says made in Belgium on the bottom. It ended up being 50 cents. I got that. And then the other thing that I got is in the garage. So I'll take you on out there. All right, guys, so here's the other thing that I got. It is this, um, I'm just seeing now a little mark right there. I need to wipe it off. This little, no, it's not very little, um, wreath light. It does work. Some of the little beads are gone out of it, but you can buy those. Well, you can buy those and um, fix those up. doesn't have any chips or anything like that. Nothing is wrong with it other than some of those those beads are missing and I already have that listed which is one of the reasons why it's out here and it's on a bottom shelf because it is heavy guys I'm going to put stuff away and I don't think I spoke about this <laughs> I got this I don't know I don't think it's older um it's glass but I got it for a dollar the little tree topper that was in the cart as well that had the um what you do hickey the wreath the wreath light this was in the bottom of that actually so I'm glad that didn't snap in half but I don't remember talking about it so I'm just gonna add this clip right on all right guys that's gonna do it that's gonna wrap up this video um, let me know down below what was your favorite thing that I found was it something from the yard sale was it something from the thrift store let me know I'm so curious I think my two favorite things are these and you can have more than one favorite it's loud so those two are my favorite so you guys let me know what is your favorite leave that in the comment space down below and I'll talk to you guys again soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe everyone bye mm -hmm.